Hi guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, and if you're new, welcome. Today we have another super, super early sneak peek of a box for next month. It's currently the 21st of April, so Sundays I'm filming this, and yesterday the May box came for Look Fantastic. Like, it's so, so early, so we have a super fun sneak peek today. This is the May box. How exciting. Now, I do receive this in PR, so it's sent to me, no obligation to share, but you know me, I love to share all these kind of boxes with you and give you a sneak peek of what is coming up and let you know what I think of it. Now, if you saw last month's video, or this month's video still, uh, the April box from Look Fantastic, that was incredible. That was like one of the best boxes I've seen in such a long time. It was amazing. Now, as I'm filming this, it's 21st, the box for April is still available. So if you've not seen that unboxing, I'll link that up here. And if you do want to get your hands on it, if you subscribe today, you will get your April box. And it was so, so good, especially for the price. So if you're new to the box, it is a monthly subscription box. You can just dip it in and out whenever you want. If you like the look of a box, you can pick that one up. If you know that you like these and you want to subscribe for longer, then you can pick up a 12 month subscription. So a one month rolling subscription is 15 pounds a month and a 12 month, subscription is 13 pounds a month you can also pay up front now so they have some pay up front options and you can purchase a three six or 12 month subscription so the three months is 42 six months is 80 and 12 months is 145 so there's savings to be had there as well if you do want to subscribe for longer and honestly the boxes are as good as they have been recently i definitely recommend subscribing look fantastic has always been one of my favorite beauty boxes if not my favorite um and i just think the value for money the brand you get inside are just fab so let's dive into the May box, which is super, super early. We have a super recyclable box, which is nice because this coming week is Earth Week, if you didn't know, even though this is the May box, but yeah. So we're gonna do our bit to be more sustainable. So as we open the box, as always, we have these ads for random things. We've got trip drinks, we've got HelloFresh as always, and tails, they're quite regular ones. And then as we open it up, we have all the products inside here. We have a little card. Um, if I scan this, it won't actually tell me anything about the May box just yet because it's not May yet, even though this year is going so fast. Yeah, it's still going to the April edit at the moment. Um, but when it turns to May, then that will work. And it'll show you the May booklet. So it just brings you to the booklet for the month. Tells you a bit about the products inside, etc., etc. Um, but yeah, I can't tell you anything about those just yet. But the products inside. We've got some really good brands again. This is getting better and better, isn't it? Okay, so I'm gonna start with, um, okay, one of my faves. A product we've probably all seen and used. Some love it, some hate it. Um, I personally love it, so I'm always happy to see these in boxes. And it is one of the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Creams. I think it's actually pronounced Boom Boom. I call it Bum Bum and it's just stuck, so yeah. It's just one of the miniatures. So in here we've got 25 mils, around about 11 pounds now. Gorgeous, gorgeous product. Super creamy, super nourishing on the skin. And if you love the scent, then it's fab because the scent lingers on your skin. It is so nice. It just smells like holiday in a tub for me. I absolutely love it. Um, these little ones can sometimes be a little bit hard to open. I've just got hand cream on, so it's even harder right now. Um, yeah, I don't know what it is. I think it's like the seal or something. It seems to get a bit stuck. So I always have to get Dan to open these ones for me. But once you can open them, they're so nice. I love them. So yeah, always happy to have one of those. The next product is another incredible brand and it's Esper. And this is the body wash in bergamot and jasmine. It's 75 mil. That is quite a nice size for a miniature. This is like a travel size, which is fab at this time of year. If we're booking holidays, this is like the perfect size to take away. Um, what can I tell you about this? It says, it's a soap-free body wash that gently yet effectively cleanses for a beautifully refreshed skin. It's infused with a luxurious blend of pure essential oils, including bergamot and jasmine, to leave the skin delicately fragrant and beautifully soft. Don't get it in your eyes. So let's have a smell. Oh, that's really nice. This is a scent I've actually not smelled before from Esper. Or if it is, I don't remember it. That smells really nice. Ooh. So it's a body wash, so this would be something I would use in the shower. I suppose you could use it in the bath as well, but for me this is a shower product. Um, but yeah, great size. And also, I don't know if you saw that actually, the top of the bottle there is quite like wide, so if you wanted to refill it, uh, maybe just save the bottle afterwards, you could use this as a refill bottle for shampoo or anything else to take on holiday in the future instead of buying some of those um, smaller plastic bottles. So there we go, a little bit more sustainability for you. The next 
product, which should we go for? Let's go for this one. I'm very excited about this one. So this is from Lano Lips and it's the 101 Ointment Multi Balm Cocoa Nutter. And it's got palm trees all over it. If you know me, you know I love palm trees. This is going to be like a coconut, like a lip balm. But it says it's a multi balm. It says 100% natural, 101 uses. It's hydrating, nourishing, super intense, a little tube of magic, an all natural lanolin balm with coconut extract and vitamin E. So it's described as a super dense balm that seals in moisture. It's multi award winning, hard working and powerful. Um, multitasker and vegetarian. So it doesn't say it's vegan, but it says vegetarian. Hmm. It says warm the ointment between the fingers or apply directly onto the skin. Use generously. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to smell it. I hope it does smell like coconut. I love the packaging, it's so cute. Okay, so that's the tube. So when it says 101 uses, <laughs> I think that just means you can put it anywhere. I would probably just use this as like a lip balm. Ooh. Yep, coconut. Oh, that smells so nice. Squeeze a little bit out. So it does look like just like a yellowy kind of balm. Oh, it's quite a sticky. Can you see that? It's quite thick and sticky. Oh, that smells so nice. Mmm. Okay. So I suppose you could use that where you've got any dry skin. Um, or just as a lip balm. Yeah, I'd definitely use that as a lip balm for me. Um, it is cruelty free. Very sticky. So bear that in mind if it's windy. <laughs> I really like that. I think that's so nice. Mmm. Smells so good. Okay, the next product is from Rodial and it's the Vitamin C Papaya Enzyme Scrub to brighten and renew. So just another travel size. This actually feels super light. Like there's not really a lot in there. It looks like it's half full. Uh, it's only 20 mil. It's fully sealed up. These kind of tubes are sometimes, they're a lot bigger than they need to be for the product inside. So this is a papaya enzyme scrub. Uh, it says apply onto damp cleansed skin for a few minutes before massaging in circular motions. Rinse thoroughly and you can use it two to three times a week. It's vegan as well. I really like the vitamin C mask from Rodial. Um, I don't think I've actually used this one. But because it is a papaya enzyme scrub, that's like a chemical and physical exfoliator. Um, so the papaya enzyme will help to chemically exfoliate your skin. Um, and then because it's a scrub, it will be physically exfoliating as well. So that's why you only need it a couple of times a week. Vitamin C is very brightening as well. So nice bright skin for spring, summer. Okay, I think that's quite pricey as well actually. Let me just have a check of how much that actually is. So we had 20 mil. Okay, so actually on Rodeo's website, you can get the 20 mil. So this exact size is 15 pounds. So if you're paying 15 pounds for this box, this, this has covered the cost of it already. Um, let me tell you a bit about it then. It says experience spa facial results at home with the glow boosting vitamin C papaya enzyme scrub. It contains an invigorating blend of vitamin C, hyaluronic acid and resurfacing actives to help visibly enhance skin's natural radiance and even out the look of skin tone. It says it slows away dead skin cells without feeling harsh on the skin. And it's a luxurious gel to oil scrub. It marries together both a chemical and physical exfoliation with the help of jojoba beads and perlite microspheres that are derived from volcanic extracts. Well, that sounds fancy, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm looking forward to using that. But yeah, that's 15 pounds. So, as your money's worth, should we check the price of the other ones? So, what have we got? The Esper body wash. Okay, just having a quick look. I can't spot the miniature of the Esper product straight away. But we do have the full size here. So the full size is 250 mil and it's 20 pounds. So the size that we've got is worth six pounds based on that price. Like I said, the bum bum creams are on about 11 pounds. And this product, which is, how many grams is this? 10 grams is 8.99 that's a full size product. There we go. Okay, the next product I'm actually really excited about. So here we have a product from, I think it's Hydrea London. And it is the Lux Natural Sea Sponge. So it comes in this plastic packet. Um, so it's a natural sea sponge cosmetic. I used to have one of these. Um, it came with a cleanser about years ago. Oh, that is so cool. So it's a natural sea sponge from the bottom of the sea. How amazing. Um, it says, enhance your beauty rituals with our luxuriously silky soft and natural sea sponges. Ideal for applying cosmetics for flawless and long lasting results. For deep cleansing, especially for those hard to reach areas around the eyes and nose. And gentle exfoliation which can help smooth fine lines and leave skin glowing. 
Um, it's sustainably and ethically sourced by registered divers using traditional methods of hand cutting that preserves the root system and supports the natural regeneration process. How cool is that? It's a 100% natural product and after you use it, rinse it in cool water, gently squeeze out the excess. Um, and it is literally just a sponge, that is so cool. Um, it's hypoallergenic. So it's suggesting that one of the uses is for applying cosmetics. Uh, I don't think I would use it for that personally. I would use this as a cleanser, like a cleansing sponge, um, with my cleansing products. I love that, I think that is really nice. Perfect as well for Earth Week, Earth Day, um, and yeah, something really, really different. There we have the sponge. So obviously with it being natural, they will all look slightly different. The colours might be slightly different, the size and shape. Um, but yeah, amazing. So I've just done a quick search of this. The only one that's coming up on their website is a natural honeycomb sea sponge, which is $24.99. I'm not sure the size of that one and whether it is the same as this. It does look a little bit bigger and rounder, so maybe it's not that one. I'm not too sure. Okay, and then the final product is from Wella Hair Care. This is the Fusion Mask, Intense Repair Mask, and it's 75ml. You apply it to damp hair, leave on for five minutes, and rinse thoroughly. So like a conditioner. And it's quite a decent size as well. You can definitely get a few uses out of that. So on Look Fantastic, the full size is 150ml, so double the size of this, and it's 21.75, so just over £10 for this one. And it says it's a luxurious creamy mask that targets damaged hair in need of nurture. It uses silk amino acids to repair and protect the hair against breakage and damage. Inspired by resilient spider silk, one of the strongest fibres in nature, the mask seeks to restore strength to locks by penetrating deep into each strand. That sounds good. That sounds nice. So yeah, that is the final product in the May box from Look Fantastic. So to recap then, we had the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. We had the Esper Body Wash in Bergamot Jasmine. The Weller Hair Mask. The Rodeal Vitamin C Papaya Enzyme Scrub, the Natural Sea Sponge, and the Lano Lips Coconut Balm. And there we have the May box. Again, I think Look Fantastic have definitely stepped up their game. Uh, last month was incredible, this month is just as good. We've got some really, really good brands in there. We've got Sol de Janeiro, Esper, Rodeal, and something a little bit different as well. We've got the Sea Sponge. We've got the Balm, which is super handy for coming up to summer. And I think it's a great selection of products. Definitely get your money's worth as well. But yeah, that is next month's box. So let me know all of your thoughts on the May box. And let me know how you think it compares to the April one. Obviously, April had some amazing products in there. We had Elemis, we had Rituals. And I think we've just got some incredible brands again. And beauty boxes at this time of year are always fab for stocking up on travel minis when you're going on holiday so you don't have to take your full-size products with you. And you can get them at a fraction of the price as well. So yeah, I really like this. I think this is 10 out of 10 again. I can't wait to see what they come up with for the June box. So the link down below for this box will take you to the April box. If you subscribe today, you will get the April box. But if you click this from the 1st of May, you will receive this box. So if you don't want to pick up either of those boxes, then links down below. Last month's unboxing is up here. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this little unboxing. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you soon for another video. Questions I don't have answers please.